So it's the middle of May, and this is the first field that I tried to, uh, or I did infiltrate some herb seeds into the pasture, which I'm gonna try and turn all my pastures into herbal lays. There's already, I've already been doing this over the years, but, but this year we're, we're getting encouraged and subsidized to do that. So uh, I'm gonna be, gonna be doing it everywhere. Um, there's some chicory here already, as you can see, which I put in a few years ago, over, over sown into the grass, and that, that worked out okay. Um, and then here, there's some plantain, which I didn't sow, that's just come naturally. Uh, but these things are all, all herbs, and uh, part of the part of the deal that you, you get the herbs established. Um, so I've put in quite a mix now. I uh, graze this with the sheep, and then broadcast it, and then rolled it down. And uh, it's actually a bit more complicated than it sounds, but I won't go into the full details now. Um, you can see though, <coughs> there are definitely seedlings coming. There's some clover there. Uh, I believe that's burnet, that little one. Uh, you can see there's lots of chicory. Uh, it's tricky to see now. The grass is getting quite long, so I'm going to have to get the sheep in here uh, and top it off. Uh, just you know, I don't want to eat it tight. I just want to put them on here for a day. So they've all got lambs now, and there's quite quite a big mob with the lambs. So obviously, the lambs aren't eating much. There's probably 70. I think I haven't put them all together yet, but I'm going to get them all together. So it's 70 odd ewes. And uh, lambs. Uh, this is where the mineral feeder was. It was really wet when they were here in March, and <clears throat> because the mineral feeder was here, it, did, it poached it a bit more. And actually, I don't know if the seeds have established better here or whether it's easier to see. But I think I did have a quick look here just now that I can see pretty much everything, which is what you would expect. I hope um, that I that I sowed. Um, so you can see this is a this is a plantain seedling. And this, these are clovers. I'm not sure which, which type of clovers they are. There were two or three different types of clover. Um, this one obviously is a clover as well. Slightly different to a white clover. I'm not sure what this one here. These uh, these are weeds, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I've seen those before. Um, not quite sure what they're called, but I don't think they are what I sowed. Um, but uh, there's chicory. There's chicory, that one. And said before burnet lots more chicory uh, i did see some yarrow and some there's yarrow i believe that's a yarrow i hope uh, bird's foot trefoil there's there's definitely one there uh, and there and i saw a bigger one over here somewhere there we go um i hope that's what that is but anyway it's all looking looking like the seedlings are all there and established and you know the sheep are going to come and, and nip them off and I'm, I'm hoping, <laughs> really hoping, that when they nip them off, they don't just pull them right out of the ground. Uh, but I'm not going to let it graze tight. I'm just going to put them in here. I don't know quite how much to give them. But I'm going to keep a close eye on them uh, and move them pretty quickly. I'm, I might give them a, maybe a quarter of an acre and move them twice a day. I might give them half an acre and move them once a day. I'm not sure yet. I'll work it out, but... I think for the start with, I'll give them half an acre and see how that goes. Um, obviously, you can see what it looks like here now. And uh, I'll try and do a little update. I'm putting the fence up now. And I'll get the sheep in here tomorrow or later this evening. We'll find out what goes on. I'll keep you updated. Right, here we are uh, next day. 24 hours, just over actually later. Um, I put 15. The, the late last ones, the lamb, which are mostly new lambs, they've pretty much all, all singles, but there are a few, uh, a few twins here. Um, I've given them a fairly small piece, and they're not actually trained to the fence that the lambs, but they, they've stayed in, so it's all good. Uh, and you can see they, well, there's some bits they haven't eaten ate enough, maybe, and some bits they've eaten tired. Obviously, this piece here, where, where it was bare anyway, uh, they found all the seedlings, and they've given them a good, uh, a good seeing to. Uh, hopefully not killed but um, we'll find out I think I can still see some sort of remnants there I mean for sure they're gonna have uh, killed a few seeds um, but you know that they're, they're not all gonna survive I guess it's just the way it is so uh, I'm gonna move the fence now on a bit further and then I'm gonna bring the, the rest of the, the mob down so in, yeah, yeah there's still some good seeds down in here I'm not 
too worried about it. Uh, that one bare spot is, is just nothing. That's just a very, very minor part of the field. So the rest of it is what I want really important and trying to look after. So they haven't quite eaten it as tight as I'd want. Um, so I'm going to do some calculations about how big the next piece I give them is. And then I'll bring the big mob down. And that'll look a bit different to this. Right, it's the 18th. Uh, two days after uh, I last took some video. It was a bit wet yesterday when I moved to Ooze and I, I didn't get any footage. But this is where they were for 24 hours. So they've done a pretty good job here. They haven't edit too tight. Um, just, just about right really. I, I guess I worked it not too bad. Uh, it's always by eye really how much you give them and when you move them but uh, uh, this is the morning now so I moved them uh, last night about half past five six o'clock and uh, so they've been in there probably so what is it now nine o'clock so yeah they'll be here again till five six o'clock this evening I would have thought now look at the difference in the crowd isn't it to me it's really um, flower heads will come out on the uh, plantains and the, and the grass you don't notice it when you're looking at it but I, it just suddenly sort of came out yesterday yeah, it was a beautiful sunny morning we had some rain in the afternoon but pretty good anyway so here they all are there's uh, there's about 80 ewes here uh, maybe maybe a bit less and the lambs there's well over a, it's 120 something lambs and they got this little piece here and I'll move them again. I've got the next paddock set up already under the pylon. They're pretty happy. They don't want to move. And hopefully they're uh, doing a good job of pulling the grass out and not annihilating the herb seeds. Uh, can't actually see any here now, so I think they have nipped them off, but that's okay as long as they haven't pulled them out of the ground and killed them, which is plan. I guess we won't find out until uh, they regrow. But uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about coming in uh, with a topper and just topping this off. I Normally I wouldn't probably uh, do that, but I think I will just to give a bit more light into the into the seedlings. Uh, might do that later today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. All right, see you girls later. Okay, so it's 10 days later now, and uh, it's a bank holiday Monday. I've got uh, Lewis is here helping me pick up the fence. We've just moved all the sheep out and put them into the, into another field. Uh, I did obviously come along and, and top this. I've uh, been in every day and topped it after I moved the sheep. I've been moving them every day. They're actually in that bit there. Uh, that's two days' bit, so I'm going to top that in a minute. But we had a fair bit of rain overnight. Uh, it's not so warm now. It's a bit windier and colder, but uh, the sun is out this morning, which is nice. Um, anyway looks pretty good uh, I'm quite pleased with it so this is the, this is the patch where the uh, feeder was so you can see recovery of the of chicory and plantain and um, burnet there I don't know if it's all recovered but quite a bit has enough to make me uh, think it's been a success so that's good um, I don't know if I can see any birds from trefoil here, but I think it will just clovers definitely. Uh, and also, I've noticed, um, I don't my shadow here, but um, there's some new seedlings, uh, just the cotyledons coming up. So, obviously, there's a clover. So, even though the, the seed's been on the ground for two months, it is still, um, it's obviously perennial seeds, and some of it is still germinating. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that, and uh, we're doing all the pasture like this. Um, so hopefully it all works out like this, and we'll just we'll run through all the pasture and get that done. Right, I better give Lewis a hand, he'll be getting a bit upset with me, probably standing here doing nothing for a minute. Anyway, hopefully um, we'll have an update in a few weeks, months maybe, and see how it looks then. See you directly.